This is Car Inclusive and for this episode we are going over what could be the 10 European sports cars that flopped miserably. Sit back, relax and find out which ones flopped miserably. But before that, remember to like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll be updated with our latest episode. Now let's get to it! The majority of the world's craziest sports cars and supercars were made in Europe, but not without some of them becoming massive disappointments. The European automobile industry is a big deal, an industrial behemoth. However, some cars didn't quite make the cut. Here then are some European sports cars that flopped before they really got the opportunity to truly showcase their true potential. Number 10. The Jaguar XJ220 this British speed machine was arguably one of Europe's greatest automobiles that emerged during the 1990s. There was no mistaking that distinctive, low-slung shape, hinting at the car's capabilities, and yes, it did have incredible potential plus enough power to punch through the air at speeds approaching 220 miles per hour. Yet the car will forever be known for the controversies that surrounded its development and production, a myriad of issues that eventually led to the project being called off after a run of 282 units against a planned production of 350 cars. Number 9. The Jensen SV8 the Jensen SV8 project kicked off with a bang with a $13.7 million investment funding. The styling might not have been to everyone's tastes, but the car had some serious power in the form of a Ford V8 that generated about 330 horsepower and was good enough for a sub of 5 second dash to 60 miles per hour before peaking at 160 mile per hour top speed. Unfortunately, the car just never did well on the market and this, coupled with numerous other financial problems faced by the Jensen company, proved too much to bear. The Jensen SV8 sank with barely a ripple, leaving behind a taste of what might have been. Number 8. The TVR Sagaris The renowned motoring journalist Jeremy Clarkson once described the TVR Sagaris as the best car ever made by the British company. The car did look eye-catching with its bold curves and those uniquely styled headlights. It was blistering quick too, with a straight six engine that rocketed the car to 60 miles per hour in under 4 seconds and on to a 185 mile per hour top speed. The car was banned from America for safety reasons, but the company did manage to build about 200 units for sale in Europe. This number was, well, insufficient to keep the troubled TVR company afloat, putting an end to the Sagaris project. Number 7. The BMW M1 Today, the BMW M1 is considered a legend and one of the most significant cars made by the Bavarian company. However, there were no signs of this when the car was being manufactured. It was the first car to wear BMW Motorsports Division M badge and was designed with racing in mind. Unfortunately, the car's launch was delayed for over a year and by the time it was finally introduced, the racing series for which it was intended had been restructured and the car was suddenly left without a real purpose. BMW stuck with the M1 for three short years before calling it quits after a run of just 453 cars. Number 6. The Lister Storm When the Lister debuted in 1993, it had the largest V12 power plant ever fitted to a production car since World War II. The engine was not just massive, it was also very powerful, able to churn up an impressive 600 horsepower. The power was made into a 6-speed manual and could get the Lister Storm to a 208 mile per hour top speed. That figure was enough to make the car the fastest production 4-seater GT car at the time. Unfortunately, the car made very little impression and only four units were made before the company decided it was just not going to work out with the Lister Storm. Before we go on, remember to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you'll be updated with our latest videos. Number 5. The Gumpert Apollo the Gumpert Apollo was another great European car with bucket loads of potential. It had what it took to go up against the leading supercars of its time. A twin turbocharged V8 provided the thumping 800 horsepower in the race version. The manufacturer claimed a 3 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time and a top speed in the region of 220 miles per hour was feasible. 
Unfortunately, the car's extreme styling proved too much for a fussy market segment and the Gumpert Apollo ultimately became a dud. Number 4. The Bugatti EB110 This French creation was a hypercar. It was one of the most technologically advanced cars of the era and boasted some impressive performance stats. The EB110 Super Sport needed just 3.14 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour, courtesy of its mighty quad turbocharged V12 engine. Unfortunately, the car was produced at a time the company was going through challenging financial times, and the car's sales failed to reach the level that could guarantee its survival. Production ceased in 1995, the same year the company filed for bankruptcy. Number 3. The Jaguar F-Type Manual the F-Type debuted in 2012 and though it ticked a lot of boxes, there was something car purists felt was lacking a manual transmission. Jaguar, of course, duly obliged and introduced a manual option for the 2016 model year. It lasted only three years in the market though, and in 2019, Jaguar announced that they were discontinuing the F-Type manual. The most likely reason here was poor sales. Maybe they should have gone with a V8 engine rather than a V6 power plant they stuffed into the car. Number 2. The Cezetta Marauder V16T the Cezetta Marauder V16T, as the name implied, had an engine with 16 cylinders. It was a unicorn in the industry at the time. The car was developed by ex-Lamborghini employees and bears a strong resemblance to the Lamborghini Diablo. It could reportedly achieve a top speed north of 200 miles per hour and needed less than 4 seconds to accelerate to 60 miles per hour. It was also quite pricey. With a sticker price of about $300,000 back in 1991, it was almost double the price of a Diablo. Now you can understand why only 11 units have ever been built compared to about 3,000 Diablos that were sold in the same time. And finishing this list at number 1 is the Axiom Mega Track. This eye-popping oddity was cool in its own unique way, a supercar with enough ground clearance for off-road adventures. The party trick was made possible by a specially designed air suspension that could raise the floor of the car by as much as 5 inches. The supercar was also quite practical with enough room for four. Axiom, the company behind the Megatrack, did not plan to mass produce the car, but even they could not have anticipated that they would only be able to sell just five units. And that's our friends are the top 10 European sports cars that flop miserably. Tune in next time for another special feature here only on Car Inclusive.